Hello guys, in today's tutorial video we are going to be talking on how to create um, a podium with shapes. So I have right here the um, the things I'll be using. I think let's take this away. Oh yeah, I'm just using this um element as example. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a solid color just like this. Yeah, and I'll bring my shape. I'll start with the rectangle. I'll start with the rectangle just like this. You can make it longer and you can make it uh, short. So, whichever way you want it, I'm going to be aligning this into the center. And I'm going to bring a circle. Make sure you are creating another layer on top. So, just like this yeah but you know uh, the top of every platform is always either lighter or darker than the platform so we are going to be making this one a little bit lighter just like this yeah so so now i have something like this and what i want to actually do is make this a brown color but before then i would want to like do it on a gray scale first so i'll create a new layer of rectangles this will serve as my highlights i'll create a new layer i need something in the middle i'll make it white So I'll duplicate this a few times. So um, this is still like 2D. So I'll make this rectangle. Uh, I'll do something like this to it. something like this so I can increase my the height of my rectangle so I just turn like this yeah so what I will do now is I can try and change my color now I want to change this to a brown color or let's bring in our um, our elements Show that the top. I'll make this flip just like this. Oh, something like this. And now, what I will now do is um, I would use some colors on the shoe to make my platform to, to make the uh, podium. So let's choose a dark brown color. Then all these rectangles, I'll color value them to be exactly. So now I'm going to um, to copy this um, color style and I'll add it over to other rectangles. So what I'm doing is I'm holding on to Alt. When you hold on to Alt, you can actually transfer a, an effect to the other um, rectangle. So I have something like this. I think the um, top of the layer should also be bright like this. Now, there's another thing that comes to mind. Imagine looking at a platform like this. You notice that the edges are always brighter than uh, the other parts of the um, other pa part of the podium. So what you can do to achieve that is adding stroke to your circle. So you add stroke. Then you change the colors. Yeah, something like this. 
and now there's one other thing i used to add to make it look more realistic i would add um a grunge i would add a grunge so what i'll do is bring out my grunge so i have this grunge i will now clip it to my to my rectangle just like this then i'll use something like maybe an overlay or so and i'll now re reduce the opacity yeah you can see the texture now then i'll duplicate it again bring it onto my eclipse and I can do something like this to it. Then reduce the opacity to around 10. Yeah, I think we are achieving something. So the next thing is to add a shadow to the base of our um of our podium. So let me let me group this. So now I want to add shadows to this. So what I can do to achieve that is I can create a solid color of black. Then I would mask it, Control I, to invert. Then I'll bring my brush. Of course, I'll reset the brush to something around this angle and this size. something like this so i would make sure it's long enough then i can either double once or twice so let me try and double once make sure your foreground color is set to white yeah so i can dab once yeah something like this then I'll release the flow. I need to adjust some places. So I'll take the brush again. So now I think we have a decent shadow on this. Then another thing you can do is create a shadow on this podium itself. So I'm going to create um, a curves adjustment just like this. Then I would set it to luminosity and I would invert I'll bring out my brush set the flow to about 21 or so and I'll try and reveal the shadows just like this I can set it to normal and see how it looks whichever way so Another thing you can do to make this look more realistic is let's add another form of shadow to the platform. So I would add exposure and reduce the exposure to something around here. Then I'll make sure I clip it. I'll control I. Then bring out my brush and just paint the lower parts. So now I need to add shadows to this shoe too. So I would, I think I, I have an exposure here. So I can just pick my brush and reveal the exposure. To add a shadow, maybe okay, I want to add a, a glow to the back of the podium. So let me try and change this to the kind of uh, color we have. I'll bring my brush and reveal it. Yeah. 
so I would add a noise I'll create a new layer go to edit go to fill 50% gray and ok go, go to noise add noise and add about 8 or maybe 5 then set to overlay you can reduce the opacity if it's too much okay, so I have something like this So after designing um, your this, this this one is another design like, entirely like a, a new design. So if you are trying to add um, something more realistic like adding um, a reflection, so this is all the design. Now I'm going to duplicate this and control it to merge. Then I can convert to smart object. Now what I will do is I will flip vertical and I will bring it down like this. Then I'll bring the thumbnail below the original design. So what I will do is I can leave the opacity at 80%. I'll go to my gradient, gradient tool, and I'll just make sure I'm masking. 